Hey guys, this is Chris. Welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to look at how to make a burlap fabric material in Substance Designer. Um, before we jump into the creating process, I just want to quickly show you how I use this material in my model. So in Painter, as you can see here, I actually create this material for my weapon wrap. And here, uh, this is the base material, which is at the bottom of the layer stack. And I just manually add the height normal and ambient occlusion map just to make sure the eye rate can uh, render this information properly. And also I use the curvature map and AO map to create a mask and add some extra color details uh, just to make it look old and rusty. And at the very top, I have this torn edge effect as you can see here. So the bitmaps for this material is actually available on my Gumroad and if you want to use them or just to study, you can go have a look on my Gram Road website and the link is down below. And now let's get started with the designer. So I started by using the shape node to create the threads on a rope. Uh, because the fabric is constructed with a lot of ropes, so what I'm doing here is uh, making the threads and then uh, putting in the tile generator to create the shape of the rope. In the next couple of minutes, you will see how I use different shapes to create the threads. So here I'm using transformation 2D node to, um, to offset the position of the rope and then use blend node to split into three different groups just so I can give some more variation to the texture and make the material look more organic.
And here you can see the warp node is very helpful to create the shape. But be careful with the transformation 2D node, especially the shape that's driven by the transformation 2D node. Um, if it's offset to the wrong position, it can leave some artifact in the final result. So here you can see I'm using the high blood node to bring the vertical ropes and the horizontal ropes together 
and the base of the fabric is done and then I will start to make the first shape separately and use another high blend to bring everything together
So this is the end of the video. The material is available on my Gumroad website. You can find the link down below. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribe my channel. And I will see you the next time. Bye.